That takes care of the cremation. Snake, the elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. My god! You actually shot down that hind! You're the one who said I could do it with a stinger. You didn't really think I had a chance, did you? It's not that. Well, after all, that hind shot down two F-16s. It is hard to believe that after doing that, it got taken out by just one man. Snake, you shot down the hind. I was so worried. Liquid couldn't have survived that. I wonder. But even so, just because we've taken out their leader doesn't mean they're gonna give up. They're still gonna try to launch that nuke. You're right. There's no time to waste. Hurry. The underground base is past the communications tower. The elevator's working again, isn't it? You caught Snake? Don't forget to save your memories of me, too. Can't save memories, even on that system of yours. Memories are fragile things. After you reduce them to binary numbers and send them through the air, they're not memories anymore. I wouldn't be so sure of that. There's nothing my system can't do. Memories aren't just sounds and pictures. They exist somewhere between the sounds, between the picture. I don't get it. Anything can be done digitally. If that's true, why don't you go ahead and try to save what I'm thinking right now? I can't save that type of thing. You have to put it into words, at least. That's right. And that's what memories are. Wordless. I don't know about that. No matter how far data technology advances, you'll never be able to penetrate the human heart. You're wrong. It's just a matter of time. But first you have to try to understand human emotions, Mei Ling. And how do I do that? You have to allow yourself to fall in love with someone.
there's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Too late, Snake! Now die! Security level six. You caught Snake? Snake in China, they say. When walking through a melon patch, don't adjust your sandals. That means that when things get really bad, you have to try to remember what's important. Keep things in the proper perspective, okay?
gun. Were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me, in the middle of this blizzard. It's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please! She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. It's Sniper Wolf. You can only shoot at her with your PSG-1. Snake, Wolf is hiding somewhere in that snowfield. First you'll have to find out where she is. She should come out of hiding briefly to shoot at you. Sniper Wolf. It is pretty unusual for a sniper to announce their presence before they shoot. She must have a real thing for you. Anyway, I do not think it is going to be as easy as before. Otacon, where can I find ammo for the PSG-1? I... I can't tell you.
failed her in your first meeting. But remember, don't let down your guard until you've got a confirmed kill. What can I do for you, Snake? In China, they say, the snake, knowing itself, strikes swiftly. It means that if you have confidence that what you are doing is part of your true nature, there should be no hesitation. I don't know whether your orders are in your true nature or not, but, Snake, believe in yourself. She... she was 
was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please. Set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. Save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. Nothing more than a murderer. 
But someone like Wolf, a soldier who's looking for nothing more than their own death, is no good to anyone either. Once she started to look for death, it was all over. That's how you'll end up too, Snake. As long as the strategy of nuclear deterrence continues, nuclear weapons may be reduced, but they will never be eliminated. If you think about it, nuclear reduction does not mean much without elimination as the ultimate goal. I used to work in the DIA. I figured the only way to achieve nuclear elimination was to work from the inside to convince them of the ineffectiveness of the deterrence theory. Seems like you're pretty focused on that issue. Victims of nuclear radiation are a sad thing to see. And I have seen a lot of it. I have seen more than enough of it. I was born and raised in Pripyat, Ukraine. I was 10 years old on that day, April 26, 1986. You don't mean... Yes, Chernobyl. That is the day that changed my life and thousands of other lives. I live just three kilometers north of there. 600,000 to 700,000 people were evacuated. Over 650,000 children suffered the effects of radiation poisoning. Between 1986 and 1993, 12,000 children died. My parents and many others like them who helped in the cleanup died a few years later from radiation sickness. We must rid this world of all nuclear weapons before they cause more misery, before they destroy the delicate environment that keeps us alive. I will not allow this pain and anxiety to pass on to yet another generation.
travels better in cold environments. If you're going to use a handgun, you should equip a suppressor. When the temperature falls down to minus 30 or minus 40 degrees Celsius, you start to get ice fogs. That's when the moisture in the air freezes. It may look pretty at first, but it'll severely limit your visibility. Be careful. Kipling, an English poet who also won the Nobel Prize, said that once you go beyond 65 degrees north, you're beyond the reach of divine protection and human law. To survive in such surroundings, you have to be strong enough to not rely on God or anyone else. In cold like this, over 70% of your body's warmth is lost through your head. Put on some kind of hat. I hate hats. Is a bandana okay? Well, I guess it's better than nothing. It's easy to dehydrate in sub-zero climates, so make sure to replenish your fluids. But don't ever try to do it by eating snow. You'll freeze your stomach and your body temperature will drop. Always melt the snow and then boil it before you drink it. No cold foods or cold liquids for you. That stuff causes a temperature imbalance that actually drains your body of energy. A golden rule in Arctic environments. In an Arctic environment, it's important to change your underwear if you're sweating a lot. Dawdle around too much and you'll not only waste your strength, but you could even catch pneumonia. Gaming after a 